Okay guys, back again with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be guiding you step by step how you can set up your PBR IPTP simple clients for Kodi 18.2. So let's begin from this start. If you guys want to set up your PBR IPTP simple clients on Kodi 18.2 or any version of Kodi 18, LIA or even you can follow these steps for Kodi 17. So guys, let's begin. At first, you're going to click on this setting icon on the top in the home screen. And then you're going to do, here you're going to see it's system. You're going to click on system. At the bottom, you're going to tap continuously and you're going to choose export. And then you're going to choose add-ons. Unknown source, you're going to click on over here and enable it. Mine is already enabled and I already have an export over here at the bottom. So choose export at the bottom, go to add-ons and enable it. Unknown source, right? It's unknown source, enable it. Just go on a step back. And then you have over here PBR and live TV. Just right over here. You can see PBR and live TV. Just tap it. Click on that. In the general section, you're going to Clear the data, click on yes to clear the data. You're going to go to the guide section, you're going to clear the data, click on yes. Once you have cleared all these things, what you're going to do, you'll be going back to the home screen. And then you have add-ons over here, you're going to click on add-ons. And then you're going to click on this box on the top. And then you're going to click on install from repository. So you can see I'm inside Kodi add-ons repository. If you have installed so many repos, currently I have already, currently I have only one repo inside my Kodi. So I'm already inside Kodi add-ons repository. You can see on the top. On the top left corner but if you have a multiple number of repo you're gonna choose Kodi add-ons repository from the multiple number of repo since I have only one repo installed I am directly inside Kodi add-ons repository as soon as I click on install from repository so if you have a multiple number of repo installed you're gonna choose Kodi add-ons repository inside Kodi add-ons repository you're going to come down and you're going to see here you have a PBR client. You're going to choose and click on that PBR client. And then you just have to select PBR IPTV simple clients from here. Just click on this PBR IPTV simple clients. And then you're going to click on install. You can see PBR IPTV simple client installed. You want to click on it once again to open that at first you can see it's already enabled if it is disabled so you can see it's disabled you can just click on it to enable it now you can see it's enabled so if it is disabled you have to enable it and then you're going to click on configure in the general section here you have a location here you have a drop down icon you're going to choose remote path. If it is not the remote path, by default, it is already remote path. If it is an internet address, <coughs> if it is something other than the remote path, you're going to choose remote path from the drop down icon just beside it. And then you're going to click on M3U playlist URL. You can type a path over here. You can use any M3U path. You can use... Uh, premium path or the free path you got from your friends or the family i've left a couple of link in the comment section down below it's a pin post it's a free source available so you can try this couple of free source free source are never 100 percent reliable guys but you can give a try so i've left a couple of free source in the pin post comment section down below to try so apart from that or you can use your own free source or the premium path you have purchased from somewhere and you can add it over here click on ok and then again click on ok 
go to the EGP setting. If you guys have a EGP, currently I do not have. If you have, if you have purchased from anywhere, you can just add your, here is the remote path internet address. You're gonna enter your XML TV address over here. This, that is the EGP guide. If you have purchased from somewhere, you're gonna enter over here. And finally you are done. You just click on okay. If you do not have a EGP also, you can only add the path and you can enjoy it. So once you've added all these things, and make sure it is enabled. Finally, once you are done with all these things, you just have to go back to the home screen. And finally, you just have to restart the query. Click on the power icon, exit the query, and then you're gonna launch the query again. And then guys, you're gonna go to the TV section, and then you're gonna see all the list of channels right over here that you have added, all the path that you have added, premium or the free path. You're gonna see the list of channels you can enjoy. Have fun. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like, subscribe and comment and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good day.